Africa, the world's second largest continent, is slowly tearing itself apart. And if it succeeds, Earth might get a brand new ocean. So let's talk about how and what this means for our planet's future. Deep below East Africa, three giant tectonic plates are drafting away from each other. This isn't a sudden breakup. It is a slow motion divorce happening about the speed your fingernails grow. Over a million of years, this movement has created the East African Rift, a 3,700 mile long scar stretching from Ethiopia all the way to Mozambique. In 2005, a crack longer than Rhode Island appeared in Ethiopia in just days. This is like a zipper slowly opening one tag at a time. If this keeps up, a chunk of African could split off, flood the Rift Valley with seawater. How much water? Well, about 10,000 billion gallons. This is enough to fill 15 million Olympic pools, which would be Earth, Sea's ocean. This rift is the only place on land where we can observe continental breakup in real life. It's like watching the Atlantic Ocean form, but in a super slow motion. For humans, this split isn't all good news. Millions would lose homes and entire countries might vanish. But there is a silver lining. Landlocked nations like Uganda and Zambia could gain coastlines, unlocking trade routes and ports. And let's not forget nature, new marine ecosystem could emerge, giving scientists a front row seat to evolution. Don't panic, because this won't happen soon, it will take 5 to 10 million years, but it is a reminder that our planet is alive, reshaping itself along after we are gone. For geologists, it is a good mind for us, a humble lesson in Earth's power. So the next time you see a map of Africa, remember, continents aren't forever. The ground beneath us is God it plans to. And that is all for today's episode. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. My name is Sheriff Haruna. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Makrao.